Hi there folks, welcome back to Mossy Roots Farm. Our chickens are in need of some help today. We got this really nice tarp and we have a problem. So this is some sort of a Quonset kind of a thing where it's a flat top and that was a terrible idea for stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. Because not only does it do that, it also bends this bar, which I'm not sure how well you can see. Um, ugh, and I don't want to bend it too much back because it kind of concerns me that it's that way. Um, so our solution is this PVC. Now this I put in here from another, uh, from our other tarp and it was smaller. Um, so now I need to add it for the bigger tarp. Because as you see, like this side's fine, but this side sags enough it drains all throughout there. So I'm gonna build two more of these chunks of PVC for down there, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. All right, folks. Well, there it is, quick and dirty. I uh, did not really do measurements on that. I just kind of eyeballed it and uh, did the same thing over here. I uh, think I need to clean this up some. I don't think I cleaned it up with the grinder. Um, my concern is, is with stuff like this, how there's a sharp edge, if that tarp were to get to it, uh, I don't want it to cut my tarp. So actually, yeah, I did not clean this edge up at all, so I have to clean it up. But basically, that's it. Um, doesn't matter, hole all the way through, won't matter. It don't matter that it's a little bit off. For what I'm doing, it, it's going to be fine. But... This is just some old nasty PVC I've had laying around. I mean, you can see all the algae growth and stuff that's on it because it's been sitting outside. So figure, hey, better than nothing. Alrighty, folks. Well, it looks a tad different now because I, uh, well, I got a little cold yesterday. So I decided to uh, just come out today when it wasn't as terrible. So I did get the PVC up there. Uh, it really wasn't bad. I just pushed up on it. The other one I did a lot more those other two pieces back there um, But this wasn't terrible now. The only thing that concerns me Is in between pipe two and three how there's that big gap with that steel in the way concern that we're gonna get a bunch of water water piled into that, but I Guess if it's a problem, we'll uh, We'll deal with it then Wow you ladies like to complain. Yeah, a bunch of whiners we have here today. Yeah, that's you. Well, folks, I know this isn't a chicken coop, but I just had to show you guys this. <clears throat> this is a tree that we had come down in our cow pasture. I tried pushing this tree down this summer with the tractor. And it said no thank you. And actually I think you can see right here the marks from my bucket where uh, I had tried to push this tree down with my big old tractor. And she decided to come down on her own. Yeah, yeah she came down on my T-post there. It uh, sunk the T-post in the ground a good bit. And uh, give her a little tweak, a little bend. So... I'm gonna have to cut this off with chainsaw. Probably gonna cut this branch back so it's not over my fence. And then I need to, this poor tree that's leaning back here, I'm gonna have to cut the end of that off. Maybe even cut it down here because it looks like another tree came down on it. Um, so yeah, it's never ending on the farm. But I'd just like to say thank you guys. I appreciate you watching. I know this is probably a bit of a weird video. I just uh, was trying to get a few things done and I saw this and I knew I had to throw this in at the very end. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.